in his little bio, they always have a cute little bio about you know, things they like, and he wanted a family that would teach him more about Jesus. And so that kind of sparked us. We're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like it'd fit well in our family. My name is Taylor Rodriguez. Hear my story. Grew up in a loving, caring home. Had an older brother, younger brother. And then around high school, uh, my parents had my youngest brother and then adopted my little sister a couple years later. So adoption has always been a part of our family since um, I was in elementary school, late elementary school. My parents fostered a little guy who was at our church and that was my first, it was very natural. He came into our family for the next 18 months. The more I look back on it, that, that was the beginning of uh, my desire to foster and adopt. Um, and so when I, met my husband when we were dating and engaged and through marriage we talked about kids um, and he was always on board uh, we we got pregnant four years into our marriage um, one of the best surprises ever um, after my son was born a couple years and we're like okay let's let's get licensed let's start this training to become foster dog parents it took about another nine months to a year or so um, before we had a placement and when we saw our son's picture for the first time in his little bio, they always have a cute little bio about you know things they like, and he wanted a family that would teach him more about Jesus. And so that kind of sparked us. We're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like it'd fit well in our family. <laughs> he was nine at the time. Um, and so we did we did about six to eight weeks of weekend visits. He'd come to, we, we were able to bring him home for like a day and then take him back and, and then eventually a weekend. Um, and then six months passed. Um, looking back, that was a lot harder <laughs> on him than just, okay, let's adopt and get this over with. Um, and then they were, okay, if y'all are still on board, <laughs> um, we'll tell him that you want to adopt him. And so then he was able to move in. He was ecstatic to have a family to adopt him, but at the same time, I think he still struggles. It's been a year and a half. He still struggles to believe that it's, that this is it, that this is his family forever. We had to trust God from the beginning. There's so many kids out there. We, you know, we just had to pray through the entire process and say, okay, God, you have a child that you want to place in our family, and we're going to trust you to open doors, close doors at the right times. And that, I mean, the only, the only way that we could have gone through this is um, by God's grace and, and just our faith and trusting that he's, he's ordained um, our family and that he has a plan. Uh, when we first met our son, the, we're a big Marvel family, so um, even our adoption announcement, we had hung up four uh, Captain America t-shirts on a like clothesline, took a picture to announce, hey, we're adopting, we're adding a child to our family. Um, the day that we met him, he was wearing a Captain America t-shirt, the same, the same shirt that we had taken a picture of. Um, and so we're like, okay, all right, this is, this is God. This is God saying, this is your child. Um, and really, it was that moment that we had to look back on when things were hard and go, okay, God, we know, we know that you've placed this child in our family. Um, there was a time when CPS wanted to pull him out because it seemed too stressful for us. It seemed like it was too hard for us, like we weren't gonna be able to handle it. Um, and we had to say, no, no, we know God, we know God can overcome this. A move, another move is not what's best for him. Um, and so every time that it was hard, just no, we know that God's, God's brought him to our family for a reason and he's, this is where he's supposed to be and this is what we're supposed to be doing. If God has put adoption on your heart, um, I would just encourage you to pursue it. It's, it's so hard, but it's so worth it. Don't wait until you feel like you're the perfect family or like you've got it all together. Um, if God's called you to this, then just go for it um, and reach out. There's kids, there's so many kids that are waiting for a home and they just need a place to love them. Um, it's, it's, it's tempting to want to be the savior, the healer, uh, but all God calls us to do is to just open our homes and our hearts to love them and give them a safe place to be broken so that he can do the healing.